Welcome to the Sage 50 U.S. edition Anytime Learning Topic. In this topic, you will learn how to manually adjust an employee's vacation and sick time information. After completing this Anytime Learning Topic, you will be able to adjust vacation and sick time hours for an employee. There are two approaches that you can take when adjusting or correcting an employee's vacation or sick hours. You can enter the adjustment amounts as part of the employee's beginning balance record, or you can create an adjusting payroll entry that will update the employee's year-to-date balances. In this topic, we will walk through both methods. Note that to demonstrate, this topic will focus on updating an employee's remaining vacation time. However, the steps shown can be used to update an employee's sick time balance as well. Additionally, these steps can be used to update accrued totals as well as vacation or sick time hours given as a flat amount at the beginning of a payroll year. Let's first walk through updating an employee's remaining vacation hours using the beginning balance window. Before entering the adjustments, it's a good idea to verify the amounts to be adjusted using the vacation and sick time report. To access this report, select Reports and Forms from the main menu, and then select Payroll. Click once on the vacation and sick time report, and then click the Options button at the top of the window. On the Report Filter window, set the date range to this year to ensure that all posted vacation hours are reported. Select Employee ID from the list of filters, and then place a check in the box next to each employee that you want to update. At the top of the filter window, check Show Totals Only. Now let's click OK to view the report. The report will display, providing you with year-to-date information for vacation and sick time for each of the selected employees. In this example, we are interested in the year-to-date vacation remaining balance for the employee. This will be the amount that we want to adjust. We'll take note of the amount or print the report for easy reference. Now that we know the actual amount to be adjusted, let's exit any open windows to return to the program's desktop. Now let's select the Employees and Payroll Navigation Center, click the Employees icon, and then select View and Edit Employees. We'll highlight the employee that we need to adjust and click the Open icon. The employees record will display in the Maintain Employees and Sales Rep window. On the General tab, let's click the Beginning Balances button. The Beginning Balance window will display with the employee pre-selected. In the first available column, enter the date on which you would like the adjustment to take effect. We want the adjustment to take effect before the next payroll run, so we will date the beginning balance after the date of the employee's last paycheck. Now let's scroll to the Vacation Remaining field. Using the balance reported on the Vacation and Sick Time report, we'll enter the difference between the balance currently reported and the new adjusted balance. For example, if on the report the Vacation Remaining year-to-date amount is 27.72 hours, but should be increased to 48.0 hours, then we will enter the difference of 20.28 hours. This information will be entered in the Vacation Remaining field. Likewise, if the vacation remaining amount should be decreased, we would enter a negative number at the field instead. Once you have entered the adjustments, click the Save button to update the employee's remaining vacation time balance. If you need to adjust more than one employee, you can remain in the beginning balances window and simply select the next employee from the employee lookup list. Remember to save each adjustment before selecting the next employee. Once you have entered all necessary adjustments, you can verify them by viewing the vacation and sick time report again. You will see that the report will now display the corrected total hours. The adjusted total will also be printed on the employee's next payroll check under the year to date column, providing them with a record of the adjustment. The next method you can use to adjust an employee's vacation or sick time hours uses the payroll entry task window. On it, you will create a zeroed out paycheck to update the vacation or sick time remaining for the employee. This method essentially creates the same adjustment that the beginning balance method does. The only difference is that a dummy check for the employee will exist in your records. 
To demonstrate this method, we will correct the remaining sick time for an employee. First, similar to the steps in the first method, you may want to print out the vacation and sick time report for lists totals only for the employee or employees that you need to adjust. Next, in the Employees and Payroll Navigation Center, click the Pay Employees icon and then select Enter Payroll for one employee. On the Payroll Entry Task window, select the employee from the Employee ID lookup list. Next, change the date of the check to the date on which the adjustment should take place. Now zero out all hours or salary amounts and any amounts populating any of the taxes, benefits, and liabilities fields. This check will not be printed or processed, so it should be a zero net check that will not update any balances or amounts other than the sick remaining hours. Once the check is zeroed out, enter the amount of remaining sick time that should be adjusted as the difference between the amount currently reported on the vacation and sick time report and the new adjusted amount. For example, if the sick remain year-to-date report total appears as 21.56 hours, but should be increased to 24.56 hours, then you would enter the three-hour difference as a positive number at the sick remain field. Likewise, if the report total appears as 21.56 hours, but should be 18.56 hours, then you would enter negative three hours. Next, enter a reference number at the check number field that will easily identify this check on your reports as an adjustment check, and then click Save. Like the first method, you can verify the correction by viewing a detailed vacation and sick time report. So as you have seen, it is very easy to adjust vacation and sick time hours in Sage 50 Accounting. You have successfully completed this Anytime Learning topic. You have learned how to adjust vacation and sick time hours for an employee. Thank you for taking this Anytime Learning topic. For information on additional training options available, please visit us at sageu.com.